today's video we're going to show you how to do this beautiful pearl bracelet from your kit. First thing you need is to cut a piece of the beading thread approximately 30 centimetres long and then onto one end of the thread you're going to add a crimp bead from your findings kit one end of your clasp, the loop end in this case. And what you do is you bring the end back down through the crimp bead. Bring it up towards your clasp. Even a little loop so as you get some nice movement in there. You can either just crimp with your flat nose pliers which will crimp the bead flat or you can crimp the bead with your crimping pliers. We'll do it with the crimping pliers. So the first action is to put the crimp bead in the, the back of the pliers, like so, and crimp. And that makes a U shape. And then we're going to put this into the front section of the pliers and crimp. Just crimp your bead onto the uh, thread. Then we take a crimp cover from your findings kit, holding it in your flat nose pliers. Cover your crimp bead and gently squeeze the crimp cover together, closing the bead, covering up that crimp bead. You see we have a bit of excess thread, we just very carefully trim that close to your crimp cover. Then we're going to add 17 pearls from your kit, 15, 16, 17, there you go, and from your findings kit you get these nice little flower spacer beads, so now we're up for the, the middle embellishment. We're going to add a space bead and a pearl, another space bead, a pearl, another space bead. So we've got three space beads and pearls at the centre point. And then we add another 17 pearls, so 15, 16, 17, and then you're going to add the crimp bead, the other side of your clasp. I'm going to pass the thread back down through the crimp bead. Pull it through, making sure that your beads are all nicely hanging down. Hold your bead, your thread securely so as you don't loosen off here, creating a bigger loop. We're taking the crimping pliers again in the back section and squeezing, making a U-shape. And then take the pliers, placing the crimp bead in the front section and squeezing that crimp bead down. Carefully cut off your excess thread. Then, 
yourself another crimp cover from your findings pack. Using it in the flat nose pliers. Open your crimp bead and gently squeeze the crimp bead cover closed. And there you have your completed ba basic pearl bracelet. For a more advanced technique, we're going to show you how to add, make this chain, this charm bracelet, adding these pearls with the wrap loop technique. And for that, you'll need a length of chain, approximately 16 centimetres. And we're going to, when you cut your chain, make sure your loops are the same way facing each end. So you've got your nice flat loops on each end. We're going to take a jump ring from your findings kit. Open the jump ring. Place on one side of, this is a, um, a little charm, flower charm. I think it's intended to use as a clasp, but you can use this as a charm in the middle. Find your middle loop, pass your jump ring through, and close that loop. And then you're going to add your clasp to each end. Close that loop, add the other end, holding your jump ring in one plier and then bringing it towards you, open it like a door, placing your chain, add the other side of your clasp and then closing the jump ring away from you. Okay. Then we're going to add seven pearls on each side of our charm in the middle. And we're going to add them to the rings here. Every other ring, nice flat rings there. So you thread on a pearl on your on your head pin, which is in your findings kit, and taking the round nose pliers on top of the pearl, push the head pin away from you, turn the pliers as so, and push the head pin back over that top prong of the pliers, bringing it all the way around. And finding your next flat loop from the centre of your bracelet. Place it through the loop. Hold that loop, that head pin, that loop we've created on the head pin. And with the excess wire, just wrap around two or three times to secure. Then very carefully trim off the excess head pin. Careful not to cut through the loop you've created. Any little bits can be squeezed down with the flat nose pliers. Like so. So you're going to add seven pearls this side and seven pearls 
on the other side. And just add the last one. So there I've got my one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I just need to add my seventh one on the other side. Creating a wrap loop. You can see that all these pearls have been added onto one side of the chain. So as when you're wearing it, they all hang in the same direction. So we could just attach our last pearl. Hold the loop secure. Bring in the end two or three times around. Snipping off the excess. Squeezing any little bits down. And there you've completed your wrap looped pearl charm bracelet.